Okay, so in this video, I want to just walk through a practice problem. So we've talked about um, nonlinear systems, how we can linearize those systems at each equilibrium point, and then use the linearization to identify whether those equilibrium are stable or unstable. Um, so here's a nonlinear system of first order differential equations. So the first step in this process um, is stuff that we've already talked about, and that would be um, find the equilibrium. And so we find the equilibrium by setting the derivative of x equal to 0 and the derivative of y equal to 0 simultaneously and solving for x and y. So one way that we could do this equation is um, I could use the top equation to notice that the only way x prime is equal to 0 is if y is equal to x squared. And then we can plug that in to the second equation and say we've got x and now in place of y, I put x squared and I square that. So then um, that condition would make the second equation look like x plus x to the fourth is zero. And that um, we can factor out in x. And um, then we can look at each of these factors. So from this one, we can see that x has to equal zero in which case y equals x squared implies y is also equal to zero. So we've got one equilibrium at zero, zero. And um, looking at this factor, it has only one real solution, which is x is equal to minus one. And if x is equal to minus one, then um, the other condition is that y would have to be x squared. So that would give us a y value of one. So we've got two equilibrium, one at the origin, one at minus one, one. And now what we want to do is determine whether those equilibrium are stable or unstable. So um, the next step in that process would be find the Jacobian. And the Jacobian, I'll denote it J, is this matrix of partial derivatives. So the partial of f, okay, and recall that f is denoting the uh, equation for x prime. So this equation over here is f. So I would take the partial of that with respect to x, and that gives me 2x. I would take the derivative of that with respect to y, and it gives me minus 1. And then I look at the equation for y prime. I take the derivative of that with respect to x, and it gives me 1. And then I take the derivative of that with respect to y, and it gives me 2y. Um, so that would be our Jacobian. And then in step three is we're going to evaluate the Jacobian at each equilibrium and then find the corresponding eigenvalues um, for each of those matrices. So we have two equilibrium. Um, so if we're at the equilibrium of 0, 0, then this Jacobian j would be 0, minus 1, 1, 0. And if we're at the other equilibrium, which was minus 1, 1, then the Jacobian there would be minus 2, minus 1, and then 1 and 2. And then we find the eigenvalues. And so um, if we first think about the um, equilibrium at the origin at 0, 0, the eigenvalues of that matrix we could get by um, finding the characteristic polynomial, characteristic equation, which in this case would be uh, lambda squared plus 1 is equal to 0. So this has eigenvalues um, plus or minus i. And when our eigenvalues are purely imaginary, then this is going to give us a center point. Okay, which I'm going to consider as stable. So at the origin, 
we have um, just some ellipses that would orbit around that equilibrium. So um, solutions that start close to the equilibrium, they might not approach the equilibrium as t goes to infinity, but at least they're going to stay close to the equilibrium. So that's stable. Um, and for the eigenvalues for the other matrix, um, this has a corresponding characteristic equation, which um, when we simplify it would look like lambda squared minus 3 is equal to 0. And so solving that, we get um, that lambda is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. So we have um, two distinct real roots, uh, real eigenvalues. One of them is positive. One of them is negative. So this is going to give us a saddle equilibrium. Um, so what that means at minus 1, 1, so for over here someplace, that's going to be a saddle. So there's going to be some directions that go in, and there's going to be some directions that come out. And you can find exactly what those directions are um, by finding out what the corresponding eigenvectors are. But that's not asked over here. Um, all we wanted to do was classify the equilibrium as stable or unstable. Um, and so the equilibrium at the origin, that's a center point, so it's stable. The equilibrium at minus 1, 1 is a saddle point, so that's unstable.